Hi, my name is Amy, and today we're going to do a quick review on how to find your latitude with, your, with the sun, your sextant, and an almanac. And to begin with, we're going to talk about the sextant we're using. This is the Mark III, okay? This is the Davis Marine Sextant uh, Standard Mark III. Fabulous little beginner sextant, okay? And it has a couple of parts we're going to look at. We have a horizon mirror, an index mirror, which is adjustable with these little screws, an index arm, which gives us our vernier scale, including our degrees and our minutes. It also comes with these great sunshades. Do not look at the sun without proper eye protection using these sunshades. Um, let me move in a little bit so you can see our sextant. And let's, is it focusing well? Okay. So our sextant is pretty neat. You can see the degrees go from 0 to 100. The degrees go from 0 to 100. And, the, and they go by one increment. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I won't go all the way to 100. And the minutes skip count by 2 in the opposite direction. So 0 is here and 60 is here, and it's 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, up to 60, which makes sense because there's 60 minutes in an hour, or a 60 minutes in a degree. So this, all sextants are not created equal, and this one goes degrees and minutes, it does not give you seconds, um, but it's a great beginner sextant to learn how to use. Now the problem is, is that when you use a sextant, you have to find out first um, the manufacturing error of the sextant or the environmental error caused by humidity or um, being tossed about on a ship or something like that. The way that you do that is pretty simple. You want to make sure that your sextant is measuring the horizon properly and then you want to make sure that it's also measuring vertically properly. And the way you do that is you look through your sextant about a mile off at a horizontal surface and you bring your sextant close, pretty close to zero, zero which is that setting right there, okay? And then you will sight it in, and when you're looking, your horizon should be level. If it's off a little bit, then you will make your adjustments to get it as close as possible. And then you're going to take a moment and you're gonna look at your sextant and say, how far off is it? So in this case, let's make sure you guys can see this. Is it clear? Okay. In this case, my sextant is off. It is negative one degree, and in a vernier scale, you look to see where they line up perfectly. And when I'm looking at this, I am seeing that these are not lined up here. This looks pretty lined up. And 20 minutes. You can see the 20 line is really beautifully lined up. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm sorry, negative one degree and 20 minutes my sextant is off by that much from the manufacturer in this situation. But you have to do this every single time that you go and use your sextant. Every time you take it out of the box, you have to find your index error. So I'm gonna record my index error right here. I'm gonna record my one degree and my 20 minutes. Now, if you remember, I said that it was negative. So over here, I'm going to circle my negative just so I know that it was negative when I go to do my calculations. Because when we calculate this example, you have to do the opposite of your index error. Because if you notice, my index error, my angle is actually bigger than zero. So I'm going to have to add here instead of subtract. So you do the opposite. This is minus. So I have to add that in to my calculations. So now we've found our index error. So now it's time to take our sextant reading. We got, we're sighting our sextant, we're bringing the sun down to the horizon, and then we're swinging it so the bottom of the sun hits our horizon beautifully. And then, before we do anything else with the sextant, we keep it really careful so it doesn't move or shift. We immediately take our universal time clock, and we find out what the universal time is. And in this case, we are going with 1,400 hours, um, 12 minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, 14, 12, how many? 45. Okay, we have 14 degrees, 12 minutes, and 45 seconds. Now we're not working with our seconds on this equation, we're just getting the basics of this done because 
Our sextant doesn't have seconds either. Um, but this is where we're at. So now the next step. We now know what time we took the reading. We know what our error is on our sextant. And now we're going to read our sextant one more time. Six, 60 degrees, because I do the top degrees. 60 degrees and 40 minutes. That's what we're going to go with. Okay. 60 degrees and 40 minutes. All right. So now I know what time I took my reading. I know what my reading was when I brought this. I saw I did the sighting on the sign. I know what my index error is. I know the problems that this particular sextant has, how far off it is. Um, if a sextant is more than six degrees positive or negative off when you do your index error for the first correction you make, then it's time to get it calibrated or to get a new one. I'm not sure how to fix them. Um, then you have your dip correction. Dip correction is really important. My sextant reading is going to be different if I'm in an airplane. It's going to be different if I'm on the bow of a really large ship. It's, it's designed to be read as if I'm laying on the ground at the beach looking off at the horizon. So I have to account for all of the height I am. If I am on the deck of a ship, then I'm going to be looking at a dip correction, say, 40 feet. The way that I find that dip correction is my almanac. In the very back of my almanac, I have a dip correction page, if I can find it for you. And here we are. So here we have a dip correction. It tells me if I'm so far off the ground, how many minutes um, or degrees I have to make a correction. So in this case, I'm going to go with 40 feet off the ground. Let's see what I've got. I'm 40 feet off the ground, so it's going to give me a dip correction of negative 11. So my dip correction is negative 11 minutes. And it tells me if it's in. Now I can do my math and get my corrected altitude. So let's chat about this. I've got minutes, minutes, minutes. They like to hang out together. So I've got 40 minutes plus 20 minutes. That's 60 minutes, OK? And then I'm minus 11 minutes. So I've got 40 plus 20. So now I have 60 minus 11. So I have 49 minutes for my dip correction. OK? Now I have to look at my degrees. 60 degrees plus 1 degree is 7. 7. Yeah, let's pretend I know that. That's 61 <laughs> degrees. All right? Now, this is where it gets fun. My corrected altitude is 61 degrees and 49 minutes. Now I'm ready to find my latitude. What I had to do was find all my corrections for this little guy. I had to correct for manufacturing or for wear and tear. I had to know what time I was taking that reading for later. I had to know my reading and I had to know my dip correction, how high off the ground I am. Once I have those things, it's very simple math. You are taking your sextant reading, plus or minus your index error. Remember, you do the opposite. If it's negative, you add. If it's positive on your sextant, then you subtract. Then you minus your dip correction for altitude, and that gives you your corrected altitude. And our corrected altitude is 61 degrees and 49 minutes.